I decided maybe after the first three or four years of studying medicine that I would probably never really practice medicine if everything goes well. I think that was actually a very good decision, protecting people. And uh, spent a lot of time in the biochemistry lab in Heidelberg. I moved to Munich University and joined uh, the very famous laboratory of Walter Neupert. And that was really a fantastic opportunity for me to really become a scientist, I should say. We studied at this time how proteins are sorted within cells, how they are made within the cell and how they are transported into certain locations. One of these locations is called the mitochondria. These are small particles, small bodies within every type of cell, which you could call the power stations of the cell. Because we found in this system that the folding of proteins is not an entirely spontaneous process as it had been assumed, but actually it requires a machinery, other proteins that are already there in the cell to help these new protein chains when they are formed to reach their functional uh, intricate three-dimensional shape. And these proteins are called chaperones, these helper proteins. We studied one particular chaperone in the mitochondria and that's how all our work began. Proteins are perhaps the most versatile and fascinating molecules within the cell. They are very large molecules, actually. They are consisting of amino acid building blocks, smaller molecules, sometimes hundreds of them in a particular sequence. They are forming long chains and these chains have to then fold into a specific three-dimensional pattern, like, like an origami pattern, if you will. And only when this folding process is successful and leads to the correct structure, then will this protein be able to fulfill its biological function, be it the transport of oxygen, for example, in hemoglobin, or the function of a hormone like insulin, muscle contraction, thinking, all this is dependent on proteins. It would be wonderful if some of our work, which started out really as, as just really curiosity-driven basic science, would perhaps lead to new ways of treating some of these terrible diseases, like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or Huntington's disease. And uh, we are working together with other scientists uh, to develop ways uh, to harness the power of these chaperones to find drugs that can activate them and thereby prevent the formation of these apparently folded uh, molecules and these uh, protein clumps. And I strongly believe that this will work. Actually, there is another very exciting development in our field. And this is that the discovery that the aging process is intricately connected with the ability of cells to fold their proteins properly. Or in other words, actually with the loss of this ability. As we are aging, it appears that our cells accumulate more and more misfolded proteins. And these can then cause toxicity, cause other cellular functions to uh, go awry and uh, if we would be able to prevent that or to delay that, I think we might have a way to increase our healthy lifespan.